Sup peeps, something very special came in the post today. Just got home from work, saw in my work clothes, all excited, and here it is, getting close on this. Right, so, important. You see that? Okay, I must admit I tore this box open because I'm expecting quite a few parcels and I needed to make sure this was what I thought it was. Luckily it is. Let's tear this open just like that. Remove the rubbish packaging just there. And inside, is that right there? I won't uh, keep the suspense going too long. But I must admit, feels really good. Damn right. And here we go. Intel Core i7 processor, Extreme Edition. I wouldn't have anything less, obviously. And let's see what that says. i7 6950X. 3 gigahertz, 25 megabytes of cache, blah blah blah. This is going to go in my X99 motherboard, which is... Oh, wait, wait. Let me see if I can get that. Get in there. Can, can you see the text on that? I don't know if you can. One sec, let me see if I can focus that bastard. Nope, not enough. Wait, bring it, bring it. I'll get the sucker in the light. Like that. Oh yeah, I know you can see that. Now I know you can see that. That's right. You'll want to pause your video on that. And Alright, set it back to autofocus. Right, back up here. That's right. That's going in here, which has a 5960X. So this is replacing that, and then that is going to be going in a PC behind there, which you can't see. And <coughs> then I just need to get another motherboard so I can run that in the in the other PC, basically. Yep. So on with the unboxing. I'll just show you real quick. I'm going to sit down in my chair right here. What else we got in here? We've got some Coolmaster high performance thermal compound. I know it's not Arctic Silver and all that stuff, which uh, I was really wanting, but they didn't have any. So, and lucky, I just got this stuff. It'll do for the meantime. Only a temporary solution, of course. Check that box. Check all that stuff. Right, let's get in on this. Quick, get in on it. I'm going to open this best of that. Oh yeah, that just tore so good. Oh, look at this. Factory sealed. And lucky. Not anymore. Let's see what we get. That's the lid. The lid actually feels like... Like, um... It's not like plastic. It's almost got like a weird layer of like this rubber kind of stuff on it. It's real sort of high quality packaging. It's not what you get from like the, the, the crappy other other CPUs pretty much. It's a little sticker on there, get in on that. It says Core i7. Now I've, from all the other extreme chips I've always gotten it says something about extreme. You get like an extreme sticker but this one just says Core i7 inside which doesn't look or really all that special, I guess. I probably won't even stick it on my case. And there's like a weird little looks almost like those hats, you know, when you graduate and you've know, got that cool shit and you just like hang out and you know and you're like done with all your shit and you just like throw it up in the air. That sort of shit. That's what that is. Right. Wow. There it is. It's so heavy. It's actually it's heavier than my other one I think. Maybe by like a gram. Right there, you see that? You got that? How good does that look? Well, you probably can't see shit. Mm. But you, you, you saw the, it's more like nomenclature, isn't it? Right there, look at that. Right, that's, a, that's good. And if I flick it around the back, yeah, get in on the back. Look at that. Right, so what I did was I actually 
I brought a regular CPU so you can see the size difference. So on the right is a regular CPU and on the left, well, that's the X99, 2011 socket, all that shit. If I flick that shit around, that's what a regular one looks like. And that's what the beast looks like. That's right. The beast. Look at it. Damn right. And that's pretty much all you get in the unboxing. Um, I'm going to hook this up in my machine behind me, right there. Get the machine. Damn right. I'm going to hook that up and I'll do benchmarks and compare them. And I've got a 5820K which I can run as well. If anybody's got like a 930K uh, to send me, I'll do a benchmark on that too, but I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> anyway, uh, in on that, I got a new um, hard drive, which is an M.2 X4 PCI Express type. You know what that is, super fast hard drive. And I need to do like some benchmarks and things on that, which Admittedly, I already received that and put that in my machine. So I've been running it for like a day and I must admit I'm really, really impressed with it. I've got Windows installed on it, Windows 10 Professional and 64-bit and all that stuff, as you expect. And uh, yeah, I'll do some benchmarks on that. But I'm gonna do benchmarks on the previous chip and I'm gonna do benchmarks on, on the new chip and just see if it makes any difference. I'm not expecting any difference because I think the maximum bandwidth you can get out of that hard drive. I think I've had it up to like 2.5 gigabit or gigabytes per second. You don't want to get that mixed up with bits. It's 2.5 gigabytes per second. That's right. None of that bit bullshit. Yeah. So I think that's pretty much the, the, the bandwidth of the hard drive saturated. I know it's not going to saturate the bandwidth of the PCI Express because that's 32 gigabits, which is 4,000 megabytes per second and that's well as you know 4 gig, you know, terabytes per second that's right that's right so is that right let me think about this 32 gigabits per second that's the overall bandwidth of the PCI Express times 4 the M.2 that's right we got this <laughs> yeah <coughs> so 32 gigabits per second that's 4,000 megabytes per second yeah 4 gigabytes per second we got this you just divide it by 8 because it's 8 bits in a byte so if you've got the gigabits divide that by 8 that's how many megabytes it is catch my drift so 32 gigabits per second 4,000 megabytes per second just a bit of basic math going on there 32 divided by 8 BAM 4 Okay, sweet. And uh, that's all I've got time for in this video. I'm really excited to hook this up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hook it up and then uh, I'll let you guys know what I think. I'll do like a, a video of uh, my sort of thoughts on it. And yeah, that's it. Right. Okay, yeah.